Welcome to the Tinnitus Awareness app. This app has been designed for parents with young children to help them understand the risk of noise exposure in the hope of helping their child look after their hearing for life. There are two key areas of the app. The first is informative content that teaches the parent about noise exposure and its impact on hearing and also teaches them some of the key areas such as warning signs to look out for, when hearing protection is advised and how to use an MP3 player safely. The second section of the app is a sound meter, an interactive and playful sound meter that's been designed to engage both the parent and child in understanding and measuring noise levels. The bottom section of the app will constantly update according to the decibel level and this has been carefully designed within a traffic light system so you can very quickly see at what level the decibel is at how um, long you're considered safe for. So we can see at 91 decibels, it's considered safe for two hours. And it also puts the decibel level into something tangible. So at 91 decibels, that's the equivalent to a domestic lawnmower. We've also got here a traffic light indicator disc, which is a quick glance for parents to ascertain whether the noise level is currently uh, within the safe limit or potentially damaging the child's hearing. It will stay green um, below 85 decibels, but if I was to make a bit of noise, you'll notice that this disc changes from amber, and if it was really loud, it would go through to red. If I was just to whistle very quickly to demonstrate this. Uh, hopefully you could see there, sorry about my noisy whistling, hopefully you could see there that it changes from green to amber. The same principles applied here to this little cartoon face and this was very much designed with the child in mind. Again, if I was to make a bit of noise and you watch the expression on the, the character's face, <coughs> you can see he changed from happy to normal. If it was really loud he would look very sad. This portion of the app can be customised and if I just click on the camera icon you can see the three um, faces here. Uh, and what we could do is click on the camera icon, um, change the image uh, to something different. We won't do it on, on this occasion, but uh, if we were to change it to you know, three pictures of your kid's face or three drawings that show the no risk, medium risk, high risk, and then it becomes something that's playful and fun for the child to become engaged with. Just go out of that. Um, just one other point on the cell meter, and that's that above 100 decibels and also 106 decibels, there's a vibrating alert that happens. The idea behind this is that parents don't want to constantly stare at the cell meter to see if it's, if it's too loud for their child. And therefore, as long as the app's running in the background, it will vibrate an alert in the parent's pocket and offer them advice and guidance. Uh, for instance, it would say, at 15 minutes exposure time, try moving further away from the sound of the source, which will lower the volume. Try asking for the volume to be turned down, or consider wearing hearing protection. And there's, as I say, there's two um, vibrate alerts that will happen, one at 100 decibels and one at um, 106 decibels. Uh, and that's the Tinnitus Awareness app. It's available on Apple's App Store, available to download today. Um, and I think it's about time that we started um, opening a dialogue with our children so they understand noise and its impact on hearing. And hopefully as they grow up, uh, they might think twice about cranking up the volume of their MP3 player or going night clubbing without, um, without some form of hearing protection. Uh, thank you very much for watching.